What's up guys? So today I'm just going to be filming my journey, you know, I'm going to be shipping, I'm going to be packing, I'm going to be, um, you know, go thrifting, I'm going to be sourcing all that stuff, I'm going to uh, be listing, I'm going to try to take you on my journey with me. So right now, I'm just getting my coffee, you feel me, I'm almost out, I'm going to have to make another pot, uh, but I, I love coffee, <laughs> it's like my legal, my legal crack, you know, get me going through the day, um, but yeah, we're just gonna be getting all this stuff done, trying to do our best that we can. Just that's all you can do every day is just do the best you can. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna eat some food quick, uh, and then I'll start showing you what I do for like packing and shipping and stuff. It's actually one of the most useful gimbals I've used, just because it's so easy and quick to set up. So I just finished eating, uh, did all that. So now I'm about to get ready to start packing my stuff. So now what I'm going to do is what I usually do is just check my eBay, see what's paid, take all those products from my inventory room, which it happens to be in my bedroom. Uh, so I just take those from the eBay, check Poshmark, see what's sold on there. And I just see everything that I need to ship. I take it all, bring it all downstairs with me, which I'll, I'll do that in a sec. But I just bring it down here, clear some room on my dining table, and there's going to be where we're going to work. So as you can see here, this is all I need to ship today. So I got this uh, big toy, this Christmas decoration, and this phone to ship. So now uh, I will go where I store all my boxes and I'll find boxes that fit them the best. So um, in order to save on like shipping costs and things that you have to pay, you know, you measure the dimensions of the box and the weight. So um, the box that fits it the best, the most snug, whatever, um, and takes up the less space of dimensions and less weight as possible, the cheaper it'll be. So I have so many boxes to choose from. I have so many different ones. So here's some examples. I have these. I have those to choose from. Um, I have a full box from USPS to choose from. All these, priority mail. Some random boxes here and there. More right there. And I fit what picks best. Um, in order to save on shipping costs as much as possible. So now you'll see that I have boxes that fit everything well. So this has enough room around it to like pad it and fill it with, uh, I use brown box paper, I'll show you, to make sure that it saves or ships nice and safe. Um, I, this is the smallest one box I could find for the phone, but um, I'll try to find a smaller one if I need to, to keep it under a pound. That's all I care about right now. And then here's this uh, Batman toy. And it fits pretty well in here, as you can see. Um, just make sure I can pad it and bubble wrap it because it's fragile. So I'm gonna get my supplies now. And another thing, you wanna use uh, like a box to hold all, all of your supplies. So like measuring tape, um, scale, scissors, um, paper for thank you notes, you know, good stuff like that. And I like to tend to keep it in a box. Um, so instead of carrying everything like this when you're done and putting it away, um, you just throw it in the box and go. I'll show you what mine looks like. So this is what mine looks like. Um, I'll just show you it real quick. I have my scale, a measuring tape, all this paper, excess paper from uh, my shipping labels. I use those to write thank you notes on. I have some scissors. You can use a box cutter, but I use a knife, a pencil or pen to write on, and then some rubber bands. I'm not sure why these are even in here, but uh, this is what I use in my little box. If you don't have one already, I would recommend getting a tape gun. I'm pretty sure I just got mine from my parents, you know, they had it. But this is what mine looks like. I have two of them. This one is a very old one. This is Clerks on it. I think it was um, an old Clerks one. But I also have another one. You can find them online, just a tape gun. You just insert the roll right there, and then you slide the tape under there, and it has to cut, so you can just cut it. Here we go, guys. I just got done uh, bubble wrapping this. I just put like two or three times around. Make sure it's filling every area just in case. I'm gonna bubble wrap these next. Uh, what I do, I just lay them in there, roll the roll out, and then just uh, take some of the tape I have on the tape gun, tape it shut, I'll put it in there, and this will pack up nice. We will get it gone. Boom, there it is, it's all wrapped up, looks good to go. I got both in there. It just adds an extra, you know, a little boost to the consumer on why they should pick you for their next options to buy, you know? Like, look, I bow wrapped it, it looks nice. Um, and it's just gonna, it's gonna ship very well. Yeah, then I'll uh, pull these tabs together because sometimes it doesn't fit. But if you just like squeeze the tabs together, I'll show you once I tape it up. This is what my uh, thank you notes usually look like. So this is a toy. 
<laughs> but said enjoy the toy. Thank you. If you enjoyed your experience, please please leave some feedback from Drake. And it usually works. When I don't do this, I notice that I don't get reviews. But when I do, I just rack up the reviews and it looks good on my eBay account. So you see how the box wasn't folded together at first, but now it is and it's all lined up. And I usually just do the tape. And sometimes if you have like a sketchy box, you can run the tape all the way around the box and create a full loop so um, it holds together well. And even if it doesn't close all the way, you can always make sure and put some tape and run it this way as well. Um, so it has tape going this way and that way to hold it closed to make sure it doesn't open during shipping. So the site I would use or recommend to use would be pyroship.com. Um, it just has you put in the length, the width, the height, and then the weight of the box. Um, and then it'll give you an estimate on the cheapest price to pay through USPS and it's usually very cheap. So I'm gonna measure the length, width, height, the weight, put it into the computer, and then we will get the label printed over on the printer, slap it on, tape it, ship it. This just shows the power of Pirate Ship. Look how big this box is. Look how big this is. It's huge, it's, it weighs nearly six pounds. And it's eight dollars and fifty eight cents to ship through USPS priority mail, so it goes in two or three days. That's insanely cheap. You need to use Pirate Ship. All right, guys, and just a tip of what I use. I use the HP DeskJet three seven five two. It is an all in one printer, the world's smallest, I guess. That's what they label it as. Um, it is very nice. I just um, I make my labels on my computer, create the label, email that link to my email, pull up the email on my phone and print it directly from my phone. It seems tedious, but it literally takes like an extra 15 seconds. Um, and I just print it straight from my phone, Bluetooth, and it goes right in here. It's amazing to use, very efficient. So guys, we got them all packed up. I just made, um, you know, made a new Instagram post. I, you know, got some stuff done, was talking to people, was taking inventory, making sure I kept a good log of everything, keeping up with my Instagram DMs, comments, trying to stay active on that. But now we are going to go to the post office and get these bad boys shipped off, and then we're going to go hit the thrift stores, baby. We got front row to the post office, baby. Let's go. Holy crap, that was insane. So I was the only one in there, and I got front row parking like you just saw. So I pulled up to the post office, and there was no one in there, and I was, you know, it went smooth. It's usually really busy right now because it's lunchtime. But anyways, uh, right as I left, like five cars came up and they were all like waiting in the road for me to leave. I'm like, chill guys, I'm just leaving. Like, where'd y'all come from? They must all came from the same, the same work or something. Cause they were just brushing. I'm like, hold on. All right guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to me. Please comment, please like, subscribe, leave a comment on my Instagram, DM me, whatever. My Instagram is Drake Talks. It's going to be, it's always popping, you know, it doesn't change. So go tune into that. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you took some value from this and uh, I hope it gets you to the next level as a reseller or even gets you started as a reseller.